portfolio board. In this video, we'll cover how to use personal libraries. We'll give an intro to the tool, show you how to add products to your library, how to arrange products, how to arrange collections, and lots more. Let's get started. Lots of places that we get inspiration in products uh, when we're moving through a project. Um, but something really important is to be able to curate and keep track of those products as a designer, your favorite lamps, your favorite tables. You know, what are the things that you go to over and over again? Or as you get ideas, where can you store them until they have a place in a project? That is why we created the library infrastructure in board. So if you click this button over here, it's gonna open. you're gonna get each of these folders represents a different library. So for example, here's our nursery library. It's got some of the things that you might see on this board. Um, here's a tables library. These are my favorite tables that I use over and over again. Um, and you can create your own library by pressing this button. That's gonna add, right? Let's do cozy. So if you're working on a project and you want to save something along the way, you can drag it right into the library. You can also touch a product and you get your um, editing tools down here specific to that product. And here's a little add to library button. So you add that, it's gonna go, it's gonna scoot right over there to your library. Now when you add new things in that way, they're gonna come into this unsorted folder that's always where things are going to land and then you can simply drag them to the folder that they belong so this is telling me that i already have this we know i already have it because it's a demo board that's no problem confirm you can make a copy or you can just move it all right so here you have your library folders you're starting to populate it with furniture from your boards um, you can even populate it with your favorite your favorite swatches See if I can grab this swatch, drag that over. So you can create collections of colors that work well with different things. Another place that you might wanna bring things in for a library is Pinterest. So here's our Pinterest button. If you're already signed into your Pinterest, you're gonna see all of your boards. You're probably familiar with that. You can scoot on down to the board that might make the most sense for this project. Here we have a kids room board started, right? Maybe this is where I keep all the kids room stuff that I love in the world, but maybe there's a few things um, that you wanna keep in board because they're the ones you're actually using on a product project. This is a photo that I took while I was traveling years ago, actually, um, that I saved in Pinterest for a time when I could create these fabulous little beds my kids there you go so you're using it in the board and now from the board you can add it to your library here it is in the unsorted we'll move it up to our kids room board okay so that way you're keeping things right here right at your fingertips Likewise, with any of our products, let's say you're browsing through, one of two things happens. Either you're like, okay, I wanna keep this in my nursery board. So let's say I, I love this, um, you know, funky pillow. I'm going to add it to the library and it zips right over there. And then when you get to the library, it's here in your unsorted, you can add it to your nursery board. But another thing that happens is as you're browsing in any, you know, any space you might just find something that hey it doesn't belong in this board but i know that i want to save that for later because we have thousands of products that i've just looked through and i just want to make sure that i know where to go back to this one add it to your library go to your library there it is it's waiting for you when you're ready and maybe that becomes another chapter We all take millions of photos, keep them on our iPhones, iPads. 
we access those photos in board through this um, photo button. And maybe there's something you bring in for this nursery board. You can add those to your board. You can decide which ones may or may not make sense. Maybe that one's too girly, but maybe this one we love. Let's get it on our board. And then we want to keep track of it. So we're going to add it to our library. go now once you're in the library you have these little um, toggle buttons right here so if you press these three little buttons you're gonna get a, a bit of a menu so if you want to move this particular set up in your library you can do that there likewise if you have something that you really don't know you don't need anymore you just delete it. Are you sure? We always have to ask if you're sure. Okay, cannot be undone. We're doing it, we're going for it. All right, good. Um, and then items within the library, you can always just rearrange with a drag, right? Thanks for watching and be sure to check out our other how-to videos.